Welcome to twitch.tv slash Cubeplays. And thanks for watching. Monger, thanks for subbing with your Twitch Prime. Thanks a bunch. Appreciate using your free Twitch Prime on me. It's, thank you. Hey, spam the kill, Plexemo. Appreciate you. Been weird, Jinjo. Yeah, actually, let's watch that. Let's watch that uh, Cyberpunk playthrough. Let's watch it. Let's go through it again. I watched it once. I watched the live demo. Let's watch it. Let's watch it in 4K. Well, it won't exactly be 4K for you, but. It has boobs, so did Witcher. Any game, it doesn't matter. Mature nudity is completely fine for Twitch. Mature nudity. <laughs> nudity with context is fine on video games. Freaking people stream Grand Theft Auto, which straight up shows a penis. Grand Theft Auto 4 DLC. Twitch has never had an issue with nudity and, uh, video games they've never really had an issue like that unless the game is like a porn game then they'll obviously ban that particular game speaking of porn game I really want to play party house or whatever it's called what is that game called house party Very positive reviews, really? That's banned on Twitch, though, I think. Pretty sure you can't stream that game. <coughs> it looks freaking hot, man. Freaking hot. I thought they would never in a million years show this gameplay footage. Because this happens all, all the time at E3 Gamescom. There's behind there's behind closed doors demos of games that the public never sees. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. So I'm shocked that they freaking release this. I mean, they, they specifically say... There's actually an Easter egg in this game, in this trail, in this gameplay demo of a, a, an image. And if you look on Reddit or whatever, the image says, like, they were really worried about showing this to the public because this game is not finished right like everything is not representative of what you're actually going to see in the final build so they're taking a lot of risks showing this to the public because there's going to be so many idiots out there when the game comes out being like this wasn't this doesn't this is different from what they showed us because they're gonna make changes they're obviously going to make changes this is not going to be the final build of the game visually mechanically they could make any changes and people are going to complain because they'll be like, but that gameplay demo, they specifically tell you that this is not going to be the final version of the game.
with that in mind, I want to play this. Dude, I don't, like, this is insane as a work in progress, you know? Don't you dare poop there! Poop here. Poop. The, like, usually when you watch, like, a work in progress, whatever, whatever, like, there's gonna be, like, a little, like, some jank here and there, right? You don't see, there's, like, one part you can see some jank, and that's it. Like, that's it. Like, other than that, I mean, look at, like, the facial animations, even. Like, look at how good this game was. Welcome to the gameplay demo walkthrough of CD Projekt Red's upcoming title, Cyberpunk 2077. A narrative-driven, open-world RPG set in a dark version Chill out. of the future. Before we start, a small but important disclaimer. The gameplay you're about to see is from a work-in-progress version of the game. Everything you see is potentially subject to change. Yeah, there are some some of the NPCs you can see with issues like facial animations and mouth sink, uh, uh, mouth syncing. Witcher 3 never had issues with syncing with the mouth, so you can tell it's just the early build. That's one of the coolest thing about Witcher 3 are the facial animations. They can do they, the facial animations in Witcher 3 are so freaking good. In Cyberpunk 2077, you can fully customize your character using a deep customization system. I all like and I'm going to be pausing a lot. I always play as males in like RPGs just to like try to self insert myself into the game. The freaking female in this game is so good though. I love this feat for this girl. For this demo, we're going to play a female. Hey, Keep in mind, get up, what sir. you see here is not final. We just want to give you a glimpse of what will be possible in the released game. This is an RPG, so before we get into our appearance, we need to define our backstory. What oh, I did, yes, thank you. I forgot to correct my camera. I'm a kind of off-kilter here. Because <clears throat> I was playing Onimusha or whatever, so I had 4x3... There we go. You choose here will unlock different possibilities later in the game. Also, you can use an array of different options to modify how you look. Hair types, scars. Look, you can really get into the face. Oh, look, there's, there's presets, so it's presets. Okay. I'm These fine with presets, by the way. I hate in-depth customizations in games because I never make them look good. So I'm completely fine with presets. Hairstyle. Tattoos, makeup, skin tone, and many, many more. But visuals aren't everything. You'll also be able to customize your initial attribute setup. You'll notice we didn't pick a class. Cyberpunk 2077 features a fluid class system, and you'll be able to modify your class throughout the game. This demo takes place near the beginning of the game. V and her friend Jackie, along with a netrunner named t are hired to find and retrieve a missing person, a girl whose locator implant went dark. So I think this is probably like the start of the game. I think this might be the opening. Like it starts you right here. I mean, we'll see. Cyberpunk 2077 is a first person role playing game. This perspective enables us to maximize your immersion. You know how they're saying does not represent the final look of the game? You know why they're saying that specifically? Because Witcher 3 looked so much better than the final release. Like, Witcher 3, that that, that freaking, like, uh, like, insane visual gameplay video they released or whatever, and the game still looks phenomenal, but it did not look as good as what they showed in E3. Have I hope... The We're next-gen, though. That's the thing. This is going to be a next-gen game, so I believe that this is going to look as good, if not better, than this. Like, we are in the next-gen stage. Your turn. This is not going to be a PS4 or Xbox One game, so I have strong faith that this will look at least this good, if not better. Because, I mean, Deus Ex Mankind Divided looks this good. In my opinion, like, Mankind Divided looks this good, I think. This game looks just as good as Mankind Divided, and I, that's a game. Room's too simple. Not our girl, I think. Keep looking. It looks like these scavengers are kidnapping people to harvest their implants. Okay, 
Don't you, you hate these de these gameplay demos where they slowly pan around? Like anybody would actually play like that, you know? Like cinematic look, cinematic look. It's like no, the person that's playing is gonna be like snap, 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 looking around like that. But in the gameplay demos, it's always like slow look. Slow look. No one in we'll their ever right mind would play like that. Rarely allows us to use the Kareznikov ability. Maybe in like some certain situations you'll play like that, just to RP, like RP walking or whatever. But never in like, never the whole time, you know. Especially in gameplay. Combat, that is. I don't like the damage numbers. Just want to say that. Don't like the damage numbers and knowing CD project you'll be able to turn the damage numbers off so it doesn't matter I know you'll be able to turn the damage numbers off this is because one of the coolest things about CD project and the Witcher 3 specifically the UI is so effing customizable it's insane so I know for a fact you'll be able to shut the damage numbers off And I always like me some good bullet time. Always like me some good bullet time. Never, never against bullet time. Ever. I wonder... I'm, I'm gonna assume the destructibility is probably uh, scripted based on, like, I don't know, because you can get a shotgun that can pierce through walls, so maybe destructibility is, like, way more complex. Got a window on the left. Go. Like, how destructible is the area? Like, certain walls? Like, what? Terminado. I want to play as Jackie. This guy's freaking awesome. Freaking plows into this dude, and then he gets his big gun. Sure hope our target's in there. Cabrones. Cyberpunk. I don't think Cyberpunk has any multiplayer. No. This does not look good. No in a minute, jacking into Biomon. Like, look how... Like, most games is kind of... I don't know how to... It, like, they're plastic-looking, robotic-looking, fake-looking, etc. Like, it looks so... natural. Everything, like, all the movement, the skin Sandra movement, set, NC the eye movement. Got a winner. Well, she will be if we can get her to a hospital. Sheesh. Trauma team plastic. Just think if this was a Bioware game. It looked like absolute trash. Something's jamming the Biomon signal. Talk to me, T-Bug. Virus, probably. Locator neural socket. Should be a shard slotted in. Shit's probably on that. If we clear it, free up the signal, TT could actually drop in. Take her off our hands. Like, even the jaw's, like, slightly moving. Like, Got they the put shard. so much... We're moving it now. ...effort Done. into it. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in... 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Like the fucking cavalry. <laughs> I like how they just ignore this other dude in the tub, because that's just not their mission. It's just like, whatever, screw him. Notice how the boobs are glitching out, like the boob physics when she lifts her up. It's like... Boob physics are just never that. They're never realistic in video games. They can just never get it down. Get China. She's stable. Oh, buena, China. Get her outside. I'll cover you. It turns out a virus disrupted the girl's locator implant. We fixed that, <clears throat> and now help is inbound. Swarm of the sons of bitches. Two vans full. Just pulled up outside. Get her out, terrorists! Stand clear, landing. Look at the fit. This is just, 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 just the slight details. Like, look at the, all the trash right here. 
I'm like all the physics that happens when this the, the thing comes in and blows air. But like then the freaking curtain right here fly flying in the wind. Stop where you are. Place the patient on the stretcher. Five steps back. Now I said step back. What if you don't step back? Would they just shoot you? Hey, give us a lift out of here. No problem. That's uh, it. Almost looks like CG, like from like a movie, you know? Give us a lift out of here. It just reminds you like no Star Wars or something, like the new. Gosh, it looks so good. It's it's a uh, per object motion blur makes it really work. Give us a lift out of here. No problem. Cutting connection. T bug out. All clear. That was trauma. A kind of high end premium medical insurance. Don't have much time for what Bug said. We've delivered the target, and Tiba has notified us that the scavengers have called in reinforcements. Let's get out of here before they arrive. I got the eddies for new wheels now. I had something real fine, too. How about you, Heiner? Probably blowing all on booze in three days. Talking about somebody else, Jack. People are moving a cunt out of combat. Naked dude just leaves. I remember there. There's an article like you can casually bang in this game. It's like, well, of course you can. It's a freaking CD project game. Cyberpunk is a mature, visceral experience, and as such, it will let you explore a variety of different interactions with the game world. And as you just saw, it's people. Hello, Night City. Your man standing here with us, teaching on all last night's biz. But first, remember the man, the myth, Johnny Silverhand. Been a year since he went on his last ride. All you gunk sitting in the afterlife nursing that scotch waiting for something better. You is she all natural or is that all success. cybernetics? And V obviously has some money to burn. Hey, so V, look, I need to talk to you. That news is as big as my balls. I've noticed the uh, the facial animations and like the phone call thing. Oh, you can't see it because my camera's covering it. The facial animations are kind of rough. They're not really done yet, you can tell. Ripper Doc. Come on, I now make the dock way. Pull some pants on your culo and get down here. Subway entrance. Bring your iron. Okay. Jackie has just told us that he has some big news for us. And we have an appointment with our Ripper Doc today. <sighs> Before we leave, let's take a good look around our apartment. Good morning, Night City. The song on the radio is by rocker boy Johnny Silver. It's part of our creative process to draw inspiration from the pen and paper system created by Mike Pondsmith and to put our own 2077 spin on it. Let's go grab our gear. Oh, the slow moving camera is so annoying. No one would play like this. Like someone's going to walk up to the door and go. Let's go grab our gear. Like, no one's gonna play like okay. that. We'll take V's trusty pistol. And also grab our jack. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, the jacket not only provides us with protective stats like armor, but it also increases our street cred. Street cred is a form of experience the player acquires by completing side missions. It is used to unlock new vendors and content throughout Night City. But are there mirrors? All right, let's go meet Jack. The apartment is located inside a mega building. So you're scratching me. Well, okay, These for one thing, why would this guy be on this thing? Apartment. Clearly, he's got cybernetic arms. Why doesn't he have cybernetic legs to carry him? Maybe the arms are too expensive. Is located in inside a mega building, a huge building complex that forms a micro-society of its own. 
In this timeline, technology and the world have evolved in some ways that seem familiar, but entirely surprising in others. As an example, in this world, people pay with eddies, slang for euro dollars. Shinjo! Oh my gosh, you're pissing me off! So everything has its purpose and stays believable. You know, if they want to be believable, where do you don't see any kids? Like, is there a no children in this city? RPG experience is having a world that is interactive. Here, a generic ad has morphed into an advertisement specifically tailored to V, informing her of the nearest vendor she can purchase the product. In this case, it shows us where to find some Nikola soda. All I can think about is how. What, what if I just stood here and watched this? These guys. What? Like, when would the animation start looping for them? Because obviously, it's not gonna last forever. There's gonna be an animation loop eventually. That's the kind of thing I do in these games. I like, I like looking under the hood and looking at all like the little nooks and corners. Jinjo, you're licking me. This is Wilson, one of Night City's many gunsmiths. We won't be checking his wares today, but you can purchase and upgrade your weapons and gear throughout the city. Cyberpunk 2077 is set in Night. Wait, what? All the floors were available there. The city. Services, parking, lobby. Cyberpunk 2077 is set in Night City, a bustling metropolis located on the coast of the free state of North California. It's a dystopian city where violence and oppression are the norm. We are working hard to make Night City fully re- Like, could you go onto this road? Like, could you just like- We are working hard- Somehow like find this road and just stand in the middle of it. Like, that's my question. Like, how open is this gonna be? How- Opened is this gonna is that is that highway purely there for this part to look visually at, or can you actually interact with this highway and stand on it? To make Night City a fully realized, seamless open world with no loading screens. Currently, we're in Watson, a former industrial district where crime now mixes with money. The explosion of taste. That guy's head's blowing off. <laughs> All right. Piece of shit. Now give me back my Get up there. So I'm noticing pop in actually. Yeah, yeah, definite pop in in the background. Not not really object pop pop in, but shadow pop in. Which means it's an actual video game. Can you get flying cars and fly up around? Like, is that going to be a thing you can do? We've greatly enhanced our crowd and community system to create the most believable city in any open world game to date. The city's streets are bustling with crowds of people from all facets of life, all living their lives. Brainwash within a full day and night cycle. Okay, there's Jackie. Fucking finally. Buckle up. Shit's happening. What's up, Jack? Dexter Deshaun. Huh? Sound familiar? Who wants to talk to you? One of Night City's top fixers, eh? Okay, you see that caddy? Need to walk on over there and get us a job, I know. Hi, I'll meet him. Talk. I'll be in Senior Rippers. Good news to me. Good luck, V! It turns out we've caught the attention of one of Night City's biggest players, Dexter Deshaun. A fixer. A person who gets things done. He wants to meet up 
and discuss a job. Get in. Let's see what he has for us. Yo, Miss V, a pleasure. Let's roll. He was driving before he said let's roll. Standing a serious job just now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scare bomb. You interested? Interested, sure. Tell me more. Well, glad to hear it. Before we can start in on this, though, I need to be sure. Sure you all right. All right. And the nature of this test? Slaughter the show. See, got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang, just doing his thing, jumped a corp convoy, got away with gear. Now I need me that little combat bot. They call it the Flathead. Of course, I got the Eddies to buy it, but me and the Maelstrom boys ain't the best of friends. No flow to our convo, see? Who's the woman? Corporal agent. She's on the hunt for the dogs who sold the Gangoon's info on the convoy. Got herself a prisoner. Her chief suspect, most likely. Going on 20 hours since the convoy was jumped and she still don't have no guilty body. Gotta be desperate by now. Be wise to think how you could use that. Got any questions for me? We're on it all, I think. Time I got to work. Beautiful. Here's hoping my inkling checks out. So, see you at the afterlife soon as the job's done. Do good, and this will be the start of a beautiful friendship based on heaps of edits. Get out, she says that. It seems Dexter has given us a test of sorts to see if we're worthy. He wants us to retrieve a piece of high-tech combat. I'm so much more interested in just the city life, you know? A local I just want to see them walking around the city. Mega We'll be able to approach this job from a variety of angles. Let's try calling the Militech contact to see where that leads. Stout here. Hi. Um. Heard you were looking for some tech. Let's talk. Hey, everybody, shut it! Where is it? Come on, spill. On the horn? No. Uh -uh. Amateur hour. First exit off Skyline going towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. The situation's tricky because the contract giver is a corporate agent. Like, I just like this little cafe right here she walks through. Seems a little high strung. Before we get down to business, it's a great idea to visit. Man, look at the lighting. Did Gosh I dang it. I, I wonder if it'll look this good in the final release. I'd like to say it probably won't, but then it's like God of War looks so freaking amazing. Got the new on PS4. Like that game blows me away visually. I can't even handle it. That's a real game. But that's not an open world game, really. It's open, but it's not an open world. Yeah, yeah, you. You see this cam, huh? Yeah, got a real whack tape. Change your fucking life. Crime is a common occurrence. Night City is not a safe place. Life here is not easy. I'm Cindy. Got some real juicy sucratine. What the heck is that? Whoa, look at this girl. Can I talk to her? I like how seamless it is too, like good lord, just stepping into shops like this and everything. If this was an Elder Scrolls game, it'd be like, open door, load screen. Whack, babe. V! I can relate. I'm gonna play out with Dex. It's all here. Alright, I'll check it out while I wait for you. V? Dr. Vector, we'll see you now. 
We're at a Ripper Doc clinic. Ripper Docs are specialist vendors who offer people the possibility to install or upgrade their cyberware. Vicky's fry as ever, you old ripper. Yeah, you create your own character. Need to bump up my specs and get a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit just got real. Hitting the major leagues. Got a job from Dex to Sean. The Dex to Sean? Yeah, that is something. But let me guess. As in page. I, I'm really impressed by all the animations in this particular scene. Like him getting off the stool and kicking it over to this thing. Like all the animations are like so seamless and like non-video game looking. Now sit. That's Karoshi. Best I've got. And should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. And look at all these, like... Like, in video games, it's really hard for a character model to grab an object and put it down another spot without it looking jank. And they're just moving objects around like crazy in this scene. He, like... P grabs a thing, puts it in that, then he hands her this freaking cable. You peruse and that, Yeah, look, it's got a cable on. Like, what's going on inside? Jeez, we're going to. And none of it. Like, there's no jank at all. And this is an early version. Like, what the frick? data on your cornea. And a subdermal weapon grip. Mike's not labeled. And to be perfectly honest, not entirely sure where the hell I got it. Still, looks like it'll talk to Karoshi Tech. I'm ready. Carve away. Okay, all clean. Now for the fun stuff. Like, just think of, like, any video game you've played, RPG or not. Like, the movement around and everything, like, the, the only something this good was done on, like, Half-Life 2. And even Half-Life 2 had some weird jank going on, so here and there. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic, and I can stay. Like I'm specifically, I like, think in like Elder Scrolls. Like Elder Scrolls is so jank, even in cutscenes. Like picking up objects and moving things around, it's just like, so janky looking. But that's freaking Bethesda. They feel anything? Freaking suck with that twenty-year-old game engine they're still using. Doc, play by play, makes you sound like a dentist. They're always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? The detail, man. The Good. detail on the tiniest Thanks. things. Linking you in. I like how you can, your eyeball is right here. <laughs> That's freaking cool. He like syncs you up with the eyeball and you can see your body sitting over there. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. So, how's it look to you? Ginger, you're pissing me off, you know that? With the scanner, we can zoom in on things and take a closer look. Ginger, stop! Get out of me! This is fantastic. Beautiful. Time for the scanner. Additionally, we can analyze objects, get details on enemy weak points or gang affiliation. Damage type, resistances, predicted threat, weak spot. Take you a while to adjust, but this time is rarely the charm of anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes, read your intentions. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. The subdermal weapon grip links to our scanner and shows us weapon information like ammo count and fire levels. It also increases the base damage on all connected weapons. Shit, Victor. Not bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. 
Thanks again. You're the best, Vic. I wonder if there's a mechanic around that. If like you forget oh, to take I your meds, so much you can do. like your freaking mecha biomechanic you starts getting rejected by your body or something. While some Ripper docks operate legally, others provide black market services. For the right price, they can even offer to install illegal military grade cyberware. I also wonder if you can, like, just start killing people randomly. Because in, like, Witcher 3, you can't do that. Ago, said he'd wait outside. Like, can you not pull your gun out? I wonder. I'll bet you can't pull your gun out and, like, Areas like this. Well, well, Hiroshi. Mm -hmm. Well, Vic's got a soft spot for you, Haina. Come on, how about you use them fancy ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it first, Ben. Hey, so she doesn't actually scan it. This pisses me off. Did you hear that robo moan? <laughs> Listen very closely. Robo moan. Hey. <laughs> Just watch the big job. <laughs> I wonder if the store is called Robo Moans. Hey, Carnal! Hey, you got a problem? This guy looks an awful lot like one of those scavengers. Yeah, the tire's clipping early. through the road, but I mean, like, it's an early version, so. Of course there's gonna see some sort of something, you know? Like I'm noticing Shadow pop in as well, but that's probably gonna be in the final build because all video games have pop in. It's just an unavoidable thing. Clipping is clipping will never be solved. I swear clipping will never be solved in this in my lifetime of video something games. Tells me there wasn't no coincidence, huh? It's gotten a lot better, that's for dang sure. Jackie's car is a super-powered sports car running on Chew 2, the super fuel of the future. So can you get a car like this? The players can explore Night City freely, in many different Stop, cars, Ginger. on bikes, and in other types of vehicles. Ooh, a bike? That'd be cool. This does not look good. Puta madre! Grab the wheel, Jack! Oh, fuck! Ugh. It looks like the scavengers from earlier are still Did you get off the mic? Oh my gosh! Get a fly on the mic! That was probably louder than piss. Look at the physics going on right here. I think we got rid of it. That was intense. That was intense. Shit, the fuck was that? The hell's... Night City never sleeps. Danger lurks around every corner. So, like, just like, what is the extent of the exploration? You know? Like, can I jump into this water over here? Can I get one of these flying vehicles and fly on top of a building? And explore the rooftops. Random encounters like these are an example of how your like is it going to be that open? Your open world experience. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, from, Jackie. From everything the press releases in E3, they were said like verticality is very important in this game. Like going into multiple floors and multiple buildings and stuff. So, so like, is that actually man? Riding our asses. Scabs? Uh, sure, maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. Man, just look at this. But, who knows? Real messed up in there, Oscars. Saw it yourself. Many forces are fighting for control of Night City, but the mega corporations are the real showrunners. The agent we're going to meet represents Militech. One are the real showroom. The agent we're going to Woof! Massive pop in. Look at right here where my mouse is. Oh, that's where my webcam is. Right here where my mouse is. Can you see my mouse even? On the left side, these these fences down on the left, down in 
Watch the pop in when the car drives up to it. But the mega corporation on the left the side. The See the fence pop in down there. Militech, one of the largest companies in the private military sector. Why are we stopping? Remember the corpo off Dex's shard? Ranger, she's in the area, and we're gonna meet. Let me guess. She's in hot court. I gotta say though, the pop-in's not noticeable. Like you, the pop-in's noticeable if you're looking for it. But if you're not looking for the pop-in, you don't really see it. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, preparation will be key when dealing with Night City's powerful, especially when these are corpos. Instead of just rushing in. Let's assess the situation with our freshly installed Kiroshi optical scan. There. Let's take a closer look. Composite armor. Car's a fucking tank. Shit. Yeah, Militech. No doubt about it. You sure you still want to meet him? Yeah. Gotta do this. Don't you move a damn muscle. Not unless I start, that is. I really wish they'd give us a release date for this. It, it, it ain't 2019. I'll bet you it's 2020. These guys are levels higher than we are. Let's try to approach them carefully. I would love if it was to next year, though. Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yep. But wanted... Think you're smart? Something to blackmail me, bitch? Conditions? Calm the hell down. What is I've this? I've got you now, asshole. You're insane. Who the fuck is this? I'll know in two seconds flat. That fucking thing ready? All set. Are you here alone? The Corpos have hacked us through our personal link and have subjected Come us to on. a kind of lie detector program. The dialogue system in Cyberpunk 2077 is fully gameplay driven. Look at that guy's eyes. Came alone. Yep, just little old me. She's lying. Search the area. Now listen, folks. We don't need to be here all day. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Did he or another asshole at Militech leak info to you or anyone else about a convoy? It might be tempting to reach for the gun, but the yeah. consequences could be dire. Yeah, that. it's really interesting. How, like every cutscene. You can like reach for your gun. These guys are really tough. Shit. Checks out. <laughs> Not cutscene, but like dialogue. You got nothing on me. Nothing. Won't get away with this, you bitch. You're dead. Somebody shut him up. Imagine Make this game home. in VR. I didn't even think of that. I wonder if this will be a VR game. You know how freaking insane of a GPU you'd have to have to play this in VR, though. I wonder if this will have VR support. Because it's straight up first person. That would be amazing. That would be amazing if this was in VR. Alright. I have no idea who you're working for or what you even want. But you better give me something solid or I will end you. I've got an offer. Oh, you are stretching. This better be fucking good. Gang goons who ripped you off? I know where to find them. They got a bot I want. Give me the funds to buy that bot. You can do what you want with the gang. I don't give a shit about the thieves. I want my mold. Credship, 50k. Just enough to buy you your bot. Thing is, Chip's gotta make it into the thieves' terminal. That's all I need. Think you can do that? Then we got a deal. Fine. I'm in. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cunt's good as dead! I can't take you down with us! The agent gave us the money to buy the bot we need from the gang. By choosing to call the Militech agent earlier, we have now opened up a non-violent path through this quest. Of course. So the only way to do a non-violent way through this quest is to do this part. Like, this is all optional. Here's the thing about Witcher 3. The quests in those games have so many freaking variations to complete. 
So I know this game's gonna have like insane amounts of like multi-tier, multiple tree quest lines that you can do in many different ways. Keep the money. And they're that insane with how many different ways you can do it force, in Witcher 3. Which requires a lot of firepower. With the little fish, you know, the little tents. No signal, so I stay put. Good thing, too. Went down about like I expected. Made a deal, and we're good to meet with Maelstrom now. Mm-hmm. And then you can do third person with the cars, which is cool. Be there soon. What do you expect? Corpse don't forgive or forget. Even these Borg fucks sense that. Feel the pressure. That's why they're holed up in this shithole, praying to the almighty Trip Six. Gotta move the tech, but they can't. Cause your new best friend from the tripped out, tanked out SUV, he's just begging them to try. How you want to do this? Even now, we can choose how to approach this quest. Do we go in guns blazing, or do we try to negotiate All right. for the plan? Simple. We pay with the corpo's cred and get out. I don't know, but you're calling this one. For this demo, let's try oh, the more diplomatic approach. Uh... Tough shit. All we need's for them to buy it. Look at all the detail in the graffiti on the walls. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Main room. I'm waiting. They get damn well prepared. All strapped with military gear. Psycho Borg scrummed out with military grade hardware worth millions. Should be the guys we're about to meet are dangerous. They are members of the Maelstrom gang, and their obsession with body modification goes way beyond even this world's standards. On their path to becoming machines, they don't shy away from even the most extreme measures. Anti personnel mine. Shrapnel's better. Hmm, my favorite. Kangoon's getting creative with their gear. It looks like they made this abandoned All Foods Meat Factory their hideout. Charming. Another one? Serious? Charming. Maybe we should have taken him by surprise. A little late for regress like that. Got us in their sights now. Just keep moving. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. Remember. We've chosen to buy the tech, not steal it. Hopefully, this will go yeah, fast and easy. This is a pretty well guarded place. You can imagine what would have happened if we'd taken the violent path. What? Looking to buy a bot. Model MTO D12. Looks like a spider. Couch planted. Yo, Kurt, peek around the corner, see if we got anything like that. Well, shit. Sit down. I'll stand. Can't move on your culo. Makes you an easy target. Sit down. That really necessary, hombre? I ain't your hombre. Sit. Sit your ass down before I plant a bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Fucking bravo. Come on. Lighten up. Have a whiff. What does it say? Take the what? Have a whiff. Inhaler? Wait, excuse me? What was that? Have a whiff. Oh, his name's Dum Dum. Oh. Wait, what are they? What were those prompts? S. Keefe? Better? Huh? 
Now we can talk. The bot. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out, state of the art this thing. Don't even got no standard port. Bells and whistles, though. Dynamic camo armor and motor impulses rivaling that of the human nervous system. Its actuators are actually pimped with titanium fiber, and it can go anywhere. Literally. Watch this. Fully integrated link, too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls, dangling from ceilings, you could lose your lunch. So, what you think? Me up and let's get the fuck out of here. The bot. I'll take it. Two questions. What the fuck's going on? And who the fuck is this? We've got 50 large on this creature. And you positively reek of Militech. Dexter Deshaun sent me. Dexter Deshaun. Dreads. Gold plate. Fat old fuck! That him? <laughs> we'll pay for the bot. Be on our way. How much you say you had? 50k? Preds on this. What were the options? You say you had 50k? Changed my mind. Cred's yours with some additional info. Oh. Cred's on this. Move it. Ooh, not the smoothest of deals, but it worked out in the end, right? Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick. Whatever that trick is. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! <laughs> No, I liked Dum Dum. Don't kill him. No, Dum Dum. It turns out the cred ship we got from the Militech agent contained a virus Cut which off. fried their system. The Royce, their leader, is making a break for it. Had to end this way. Before we figure out a way to leave, let's grab the splinter that controls the bot from one of these dead maelstroms. I don't get what they're going for at this part. Head two, face one, body two, chest two, jacket two, pants one. Huh. The inspection system allows us to take See this, like what a closer look at the splinter. You can inspect specific items to reveal details that can help in solving quests. Oh so you can examine objects like Resident Evil to see details on them. Okay, that's freaking cool. That's really cool. Okay, let's equip the splint to our chipware slot. With this done, the bot will now follow. Yeah, but can you like control the bot? Like, can you just like take right. direct what control over it? Nice. A street modified tech shotgun. Tech weapons fire rounds that penetrate walls and other types of cover. They also have an alternate fire mode that allows you to power up shots and deal more damage. Freaking Mega Buster. It looks like there are several ways out of this room. Like those gates, for example. However, you'd have to be a skilled net. No, they said, VHS, you could pay this way with your own money. So you didn't have to use the chip that lady gave you. You could have paid with your own money. So it would have gone smoothly if you hadn't used that chick's chip she gave you. That chick was setting you up pretty much this part. That runner to hack into this term. Luckily, our engineering skills should allow us to disassemble that maintenance panel so we can get through the door. Got it. There are many skills right in the behind. game that players can apply in solving problems. The engineering skill can be used to fix, disassemble, and disarm me. devices blocking the Production line passes through here. And we're gonna pass through with it. 
So, from this point on, we're going to unlock the abilities of a high-end character to showcase some of the different mechanics we have in the game. And like, who isn't gonna unlock this freaking skill? This one right here. One of the new weapon modules we now have installed is a ricochet targeting system connected to our eyes. This allows players to bounce bullets off walls and hit enemies hiding behind cover. This is another targeting system that will reveal enemies behind walls. Paired with the penetrating rounds of our tech shot. I really like the leg taking their legs out. Combination. It's like glass physics. Not bad. Looks like we found some loot. This is a smart gun. This is the con this is for console players, this gun. It's one of the more advanced weapons in the game, allowing bullets to track and follow their target. It's one of many different weapons players can acquire. Weapons are built of modules that allow for deep customization and progression. This way, you can be sure to find something that will suit your place. The toughest bastards guarding this route. Probably some reason for that. Motherfucker! I assume that's like a slide move. By the way, this part here is kind of glitchy. Because he's talking after his head explodes. I think that this is added... I don't know. Jesus Christ! My, my legs! <laughs> my leg. I mean my head. It's like... I don't think you can talk when your head's gone. Just a reminder, everything you've seen and are about to see, including this particular feature we're about to show you, is from a work in progress out. version of the game and may change over the course of development. Okay, covered. okay. let's try something different. We're they going to take it. this guy down nah. and Fox connect directly to his neural side. In the world of Cyberpunk, once you are jacked into a network, you have access to everything it connects to. Through this Maelstrom gang member, we've They're now pretty much saying we don't know if we're even going to implement this or to how game. we're going to implement this. ...hideout's internal network. This is the building's personnel system. Let's focus on the squad containing the Maelstrom ganger we just connected to. From here, we can deploy software that affects the whole squad. For now, we'll simply unlock the ability to perform quick hacks. All right, time to show off our new high-level ability. Yeah, this is something I'm definitely going to be working towards. This. With Quick Hack, using the back door we unlocked a minute ago, we'll install a virus that jams the connection between the Maelstrom Ganger and his weapon. This will prevent him from firing. <laughs> Looks like he's having a problem now. Nice. No. Problem now. Where'd the head go? 
Nice. The head just disappears. The head better freaking fall to the ground in the final version. Some of you. Not just disappear. You might recognize these mantis. Nice. Blades. We can also double jump and bounce off of walls, which makes us a very agile, fast solo. I wonder if Jackie's gonna be with you like the whole flipping game. Sweet, we just found a corporate tech rifle. Oh, whoops. Corpo weapons are top of the line. Let's scan this guy and see what's going on. It looks like Royce is back, and he's prepped. He's got an armored exoskeleton. We won't be able to get rid of him that easily. Our weapons are not dealing a lot of damage because he's packing an autonomous shield. Luckily, the scan we performed earlier revealed a weak spot. Attacking should bring the shield down. This is like such a ghost in the shell vibe, this part. Quick dodge, I really like that too. Shields down. Let's finish him off. Okay, let's put him down and get this job over. That wasn't the smoothest raid, but we've got the bot, and Dex should be happy. But think back, what would have happened if we hadn't met with the Militech agent? Or told Royce about the agent and her plans? Or just decided to buy the bot ourselves? So many options, so many possibilities, and each will have consequences that will ripple through the game world and your story. And that's just one quest. Let's head out and finish the job. About goddamn time. Let's get out of here. had the clap that's not discreet you set me the up. clap i fucked you over you fucked the gang over somewhere at the start of the story somebody fucked the corp see how this works now only the corp gets what it wants remember that learn it years down the line you'll be standing where i am watching somebody else doing yep being a raging bitch to whoever's doing my dirty work for me Time we were on our way, Okay, let's call Dex and tell him how things went down. My girl is shit eating suits. Mama knows. Hey, Mr. Dex. Get us that table at the afterlife? Hmm, matter of fact, I did. Just in my gut and all, you know. Well, you were right to. <laughs> well done, Miss V. Well done. Shit, I can't believe it, Ina. Major Leagues. We're in. <laughs> I mean, we fucking pried the door open. Thought the only thing I want to pry open right now is a bottle of scotch. Oh, no. Not another three-nighter. Por favor. Need to get to know this city, Jack. Not just gun in hand. I want a crusade. Amen, Ina. We finished the job. But our story is just beginning. This concludes our gameplay demo walk. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> mm.
Yeah, you know Siri's gonna be in, like, without a doubt, you know Siri is gonna be somewhere in this game. Whether it's like a Easter egg or act an actual side quest of her just... A character. Because Siri, str Siri straight up tells you in Witcher 3 that she was in that world. She's like, there's a world where there's flying ca car like carts. And like she this pretty much describes the world of cyberpunk to Geralt. Cyberpunk 27 as told by Siri. What is this? I travel through many worlds. Through time, space. The world where Herodin couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw houses of glass. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <gasps> I want to play Witcher 3 again! Witcher 3 is my second favorite game of all freaking time. was the first oh my gosh all right chat what was the first game what's my number one favorite game of all time chat there you go shave's got it chrono trigger chrono trigger chrono trigger chrono trigger chrono trigger, chrono trigger, chrono trigger. i want to like stop time so that i can play through the witcher 3 again because witcher 3 is so Long, it's such a time sink. Oh, Cyberpunk could be one of my favorite games of all time as well. And CD Projekt Red is just killing it, man. So I can't see him. I can't see it not being one of my favorite games ever. Like, everything I see about that, I just like, yes. Like, nothing I see goes makes me go, no. Nothing I see. Gosh, dang it. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. You don't have to play Witcher 1 or 2 to play 3. Just to throw that out. You do not have to play 1 and 2. Oh!
I'm getting old, man. My joints hurt. Oh. So I wonder when that comes out. Maybe in 2077. Nah, I bet it comes out in 20. But it comes out in 2020. I just don't see it coming out next year. I mean, how long did Witcher freaking 3 take? That took like six years, maybe five. Even Cyberpunk was announced like freaking ten years ago. Like seriously. Gosh dang it, they announced that way too early. Is it ultra humid? It's not humid at all. Not at all. Am I lagging? No, it's just my laptop being weird. Wait, guys, am I dropping frames? What the frick? Holy crap, my laptop is just like out of control. I'm just skipping like crazy. I need a new laptop. My laptop can't even handle 720p video. Ugh. I sure wish I could get quality options on my stream. When does Metro come out? Like. There's another frickin' game. Metro Exodus. Does that come out this year? Woo! February. Just frickin' screw it then. I don't even try having my stream open. I'll just read the chat. Frick. All right. Video beams. Oh, man, I'm out of it today. I'm tired. My joints hurt. Man, I think I slept on my shoulder last night, so my arm just effed up. Workout today was pretty painful. Oh. And then this freaking forearm is hurting for some weird reason, and then this elbow, and ow! I got a freaking new mattress so that the joint pain wouldn't become a thing. And now I'm getting mat er, now I'm getting mattress. Now I'm getting joint pain. Oh. Ugh. Hey Deathmonger, thank you for the sub. Twitch Prime, thank you very much. Gonna switch it up. Click.
Where's the bus stop? Oh, here it is. So, I need to find a job at the harbor. And this stupid guy says I should come tomorrow at noon. Holy frick, I missed a lot of crap. Jeez. A lot of waiting in this game. So, Amazon Prime's getting rid of its uh, gamer discount thing. You used to could get games 20% off. They're getting rid of that today. So if you have Amazon Prime and you want to pre-order some games for $10 off, I suggest you pre-order all the games you want right now to get that 20% off deal. I, why do companies do that? Every company that does like a gamer pass type thing, it always they always go they always go away. Hello Santa. Goodbye Santa. Oh man, I got to wait till tomorrow. I can't even go to bed yet. It's not even 6 o'clock. Nozomi, 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 Nozomi. Ryo. Nozomi. What happened? Hmm? Something's happened, hasn't it? No. A fight? No, it's not that. Please, you gotta stay out of trouble. I'm fine. Yo, but what if something happened to you? Don't worry. Promise me you'll take care. Yeah, see you later. Oh, they're changing it to- what? Nozomi. Ryo, take care of yourself. Sure. Three dollars a month and gets 20% back? What? Oh, you're joking. What are you There's no gamer pass, Campy Car. What are you talking about? Did you not hear anything I said? I said any company that does gamer passes, they always go back on it. Best Buy had the Gamer Pass. It was a great deal. Great deal. They don't do it anymore. They canceled that. Amazon had their 20% off deal if you had Prime. Every freaking game was 20% off. They're getting rid of that. One game, 100 yen. Guess I'll try it. What? No. What? No. What? 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 What is the break button? <laughs> well, there goes a hundred yen. Hang on. One hundred yen a game. RT LT Jinjo why ow oh, stop get out of there just get out of there you're hurting me
I used to actually play this game on my grandma's. Oh, my grandma had a Sega Master System. And I used to play this all the time at my grandma's. The games I'd play the most were this. I remember they had a really awesome baseball game too. Bases are loaded or something like that. They had like a gun con game called Safari Hunt. And they also had Shinobi. Play uh, I think Shinobi was the one I played the most though. Shinobi was freaking hard though. How am I going? My bike just exploded. I suck! It looks like I can practice here. I think I'll warm up a bit. Okay, you hated Shinobi go. on the collection disc. What collection disc? Thanks for the bits, cake living dear. Man, the moves are so impossibly hard to pull off sometimes, and sometimes they're like a piece of cake. I don't understand what it is. You gotta be like very deliberate with the buttons. Oh, Scholar, I think I had that collection disc. That was on the Dreamcast, right? It looks like I can practice here. I should work on my moves. Okay, let's go. I had a, I had a classics collection game on a disc on the Dreamcast. And it had Shinobi and Vector Man and Time Crisis. It's like just like Sega Collection or something like that. They had Golden Axe. I had Golden Axe. Oh, there's a PC version, huh? Sega does have quite a few collections on there on Steam. Fuck the bit cup. It's not even full yet. Thanks for the six dollars and sixty six cents. Can't be Carl. Oh, 
110 bits. Toxic graveyard. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of those old classic packs let you rewind the game. Because they're so hard. They're so hard. They are hard, though. <laughs> Not Time Crisis, but I think the games, they were Gun Kong games called, like, Time Cop, maybe, I think they were. Virtual Cop, thank you. Gosh dang it, I knew that. Yeah, Virtual Cop was on it. Uh, Fantasy Star was on it as well. Some of the Fantasy Star games. You hungry? Here. You don't have to gulp it down. You don't have to gulp it down. Are you cold? No, the cat doesn't die. You just um, open up, like, extra cutscenes by doing this. Chibi, you look well. <laughs> You're so cute. Koi, koi, koi. I wish I could, like, keep the camera steady, but you, like, can't. I just want to sit and watch the koi. Son, try and get home earlier, okay? Yeah. Turn your tank. Can you get home console versions of the games? Because you got a Saturn right here. I don't have any games. Almost eight o'clock, time for a bed.
Move it, Ine san. So the raffles are the way you can get game home console versions. I see. Jinjo, ow, Jinjo, ow, Jinjo, 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 ow. It's still not 8 o'clock. Good lord. How detailed that is that lamp is actually plugged into something kind of weird that it's plugged into the how many times does Rio trip over that dang cable it's right in his walkway there another dream Senhua Nozomi's the only one for me. Tomorrow at noon at the warehouse, number one. Nozomi, Nozomi, no, no, Nozomi. Let's call Nozomi. No, no, Nozomi. She better be home. Ryo Hazuki? Oh, yes. What is it? Um, is Nozomi there? No. She hasn't come Every home Every morning yet. she I hasn't see. come Should home yet. I have yet. her call you when she gets home? No, thank you. All right, if you're sure. Yes. I'm sorry to bother you. Don't mention it. I don't understand the whole she's not home yet. It's nine in the morning. What do you mean? She's not home yet. I have to be yet. sure not to waste this. The zombies cheating on me. Don't you dare call my Nozomi a hoe. Ever. Real son, spar one round with me. Sure, I'll take you on. Give me all you got. That clipping. No holding back, okay? Hey, don't use that move. <clears throat> Sorry. You trying to kill me? That's the Fuku-san I know. What's wrong, Fuku-san? How's that? Ah. That was a good one.
Whoa. Look at the time. Thanks, Fuku-san. I look forward to next time. Here's a cutscene. Oh, hi, Gil. Hi, Megumi. What's up? Look! Up there! Because her leg is healed. Hmm. But I'm worried she can't come down. Don't worry. Cats like high places. It falls. <laughs> Her leg seems fine. It's no problem, Megumi. Okay. See ya. Bye-bye! <gasps> Nozomi! Nozomi? Hi, Ryo. Is that medicine? Megumi was worried, so... Right. Hi, Nozomi! Her leg's okay now! That's good. Guess we don't need this. Well... Gotta get back to the shop. Nozomi, no me! No me, Zomi! That's why you feed the cat. Get scenes like those. After I beat this, I think I'm gonna watch a YouTube video of like every cutscene in chronological order just to see all the stuff I missed. Ryo. Nozomi. What happened? Hmm? Something's happened, hasn't it? You're saying this again? No. A fight? No, it's not that. Please, you gotta stay out of trouble. I'm fine. Yo, but what if something happened to you? Don't worry. Promise me you'll take care. Yeah, see you later. Nozomi. Ryo, let me know if you need any help. Sure. You guys won't see it, but this gang eventually kidnaps Nozomi. And there's a whole flipping thing about Ryu, Ryo getting on a motorcycle, riding through the freeways at high speeds. It's so friggin' awesome. Then he gets to the docks and just beats up every frickin' gang member. And then he gets Nozomi back and rides her back on the motorcycle. I'm telling you this because I'm probably not going to stream this anymore after tonight. I don't know, I might still stream it. I really like streaming this, but the view count just dips to uncomfortable levels. Cake, you can't just say F the view count when you're a streamer that makes his money off of Twitch. 
You can't do that. You have to play the games that people want to watch. You just have to. Notifications might be delayed. What? Let me check. Please allow up to five seconds to log in. What, what is this crap? Ouch, Ginger! Ouch! There it is. I don't know why it didn't notify. Let's see if I can get it to go. There it goes. Well, Brandon H C Brandon H C ninety four. Man, thank you so much. Appreciate using your free Twitch Prime on me this month. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Harbor Beats, Antiquity Tree, Flower Girl, Bewitched. I have Antiquity Tree, I have Flower Girl, I have Bewitched. I have all these, alright. Oh, see you later, dude. Thank you for the man. Thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate that. That is very cool of you. Try streaming Fortnite. Well, I don't want to play a game I don't want to play. There's Mark. Uh, sorry, man. I'm in a rush. One day, Mark, you and I become good friends. I have two copies of Flower Girl because I didn't know I had it and bought two of bought another one. Alright, I gotta wait a half hour in game time. I am number one. 555 bits, Dune Jumper. Thank you. Jeez. Thank you for the five dollars. Ow, my arm. Oh, frick. What did I do to my arm? I, like, can't move it this way. I can move it up and down like this, but I cannot move it like this. Oh. Like, I think I slept on my shoulder, and I just cannot sleep on my sides. Destroys my freaking rotary cuff. Yeah, I can't sleep on my side. It legit F's my rotary cuffs up. Like, just destroys them. I was out of commission for a full week one time because I slept on my side. My arm felt like I needed to go to the doctor. It was so bad. And now, for some reason, my brain is just telling myself I can sleep on my side at nights lately. Like, sometimes I wake up on my side and I'm like, oh, frick, and I gotta, like, switch positions. Because it's so... I don't know why my brain thinks it's so comfortable to sleep on my sides if it screws my freaking arm up that bad. All right, it's noon. Yo, bro! 
I've got you a job, man! Really? Thanks. But you know, I had to go through quite a lot of hassle for you, though, bro! <coughs> what you say? That'd be the job I found! Shut your lip, woman! Hello, Mai. Hi, Edyo. Hey! You two know each other! Airhead here asked me to find it for you. I'm always delivering lunch to Harbor Dorm, so I asked the foreman I know for you. Batting her little eyes like, oh, pretty please, Mr. Foreman, huh? <laughs> oh! So, where should I go? <laughs> Be at the Alpha Trading Office by oh, 2 p.m. Ginge! Just ask for Yara-san. You have an appointment. 2 p.m. Yara-san, Alpha Trading Office. I have no Thanks idea where that is! See ya! Alpha Trading Office. Alpha Trading Office by 2 p.m. Was that like here? Where is this trading office? Well, I got two hours to find it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please, don't bother me. I need to. <laughs> Please, don't bother me. Where the frick is it? The heck is on this bike? What the frick? What are you right now? Can't talk to him. Excuse me. Uh, yes? Do you know where the Alpha Trading Office is? Um, where was it? Sorry, but could you check the guide map? Alpha Trading is supposed to be lit. The guide map sign. You get like conductors on it, like a freaking transformer. <laughs> Electric transformer. Wait, is this it? This is it here, right? Yeah. 2 p.m. What happens if I go in now? Excuse me. What do you want? Are it you Yara-san? It ain't 2 yeah, p.m. Yeah, that's me. My son, at the lunch stand, mentioned me? Oh, yes. My from the lunch stand. Yes, she did. Can you start right away? Yes. Yes. Now it's time for a job. You, uh, ever drive a forklift? No, sir. Uh, well... Break something, it'll be deducted. Yes. <coughs> yes. Hey, Mark! Come here a sec! Yes. Okay, boss. There's Mark. Okay, Mark will take it from here. I see. Mark, show him how to drive the forklift. Okay, boss. Hello, I'm Ryo Hazuki. Hey man, I'm Mark. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Driving the forklift. Oh, I wanted to hear his Japanese easy. voice. Dang You'll get it! The hang of it real quick. Oh, okay. All aboard. Ah, uh, it's almost like he's made for the forklift. Okay, you ready? Let's start your lesson. First turn the wheel either left or right. <laughs> First of all, I wanna... Oh, dang it, Good. I wanna... That's it. I wanna Next, change his language. I wanna hear his Japanese voice. Press the accelerator harder. <gasps> okay. Good. Now back up. Different from accelerating. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's it. Finally try raising and lowering the lift. That's wrong, kid. That's the steering wheel. 
I have no idea what it is. A, raise lower forklift. Okay, not too bad. Now, you try moving that crate. Take that crate to warehouse number three, just there. First slide the fork under the crate. Then lift the crate and go. Mark, I want to hear your Japanese voice. Easy, ain't it? Okay, now it's your turn. Place the crate within the grid marking the floor of the warehouse. Okay, for the rest of the day, you'll be training, all right? Take the rest of the crates to warehouse number three. Okay. I gotta get back to work, so finish the rest yourself. No problem. All right, gotta go Japanese. I gotta hear what Mark's voice sounds like. Gosh dang it, I didn't do it right. How do I go into third person? Rest of what crates? These ones here? Can you really break something? I don't know. I don't know. Dang it. This is literally what you have to do every day now for your job. It's amazing. I actually wish I had a job as a forklift driver. I think I'd enjoy that kind of a job. Why can't I change my camera?
wonder if you can do two at a time. I don't think you can do two at a time. Yeah, not to go. Yeah, not to go. Yeah, not to go. さいしょは荷物を1個運ぶごとに300円だ。荷物には毎日乗るものがあるからしっかり頼むよ。はい。乗るまを達成できたらバイト代をあげてやるから頑張ってくれ。わかりました。じゃあよろしくな。よろしく
Got a minute? What the hell you want? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? No. Bam. Yeah. Gee, maybe this is their location. Mad Angels. So I know of two locations where that well she she probably knows about the mad angels. Hisakasa. We all. Do you know anything about the mad angels? Mad? What? I haven't a clue. What is it? If you don't know, don't worry about it. I'll be on my way. Yeah. You freaking work at the harbor. How do you not know? Um, sorry. I'm in the middle of my road work. The boxer. Excuse me. Yes? What is it? Do you know anything about the mad angels? Hey! Watch what you say! Don't talk about them so loudly! Okay. About the mad angels? You're too fresh and unspoiled. We should aim for better things than life on the harbor. I know all about how to get an audition. No, I'm not interested. She's still trying to get me auditions. About the mad angels? You're way too attractive to want to hang with them. Don't waste your life on the harbor. Let's make a big in show business. I know all about how to get an audition. No, I'm not interested. Every single girl wants Ryo. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. This one. Sure. Draw a raffle ticket. Hi, hi. No win. Try again another time. Goro. What's grooving, bro? You know about the Mad Angels? Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah! Working hard, eh, bro? Why are you shouting? <laughs> don't you know, bro? You don't say that name so loud! Why not? Just because! You know about the Mad Angels? Hey! Oh, bro! Didn't I ask you not to say that so loud? That kind of talk is taboo around here! Why? I ain't privy to say! I don't know what you're trying to find out about, but... But I wouldn't be as indiscreet as you're being if I's you! Oh, about the Mad Angels? <laughs> I done told you, bro! Don't say that so loud! You're really asking for a world of hurt! Really? See you around. You bet, bro! Oh, my lord. Excuse me. Yo, kid. Used to driving the forklift? The harbor's pretty big, so uh, don't get lost. 
Excuse me. Um. <laughs> hey, rookie. Liking your job? <laughs> Work real hard <laughs> and make lots of money. Oh my good lord. Oh my good lord. Someone please clip that. Oh my good heavens. Oh my gosh. That voice actor. Oh my gosh. That was the best worst voice act I've ever heard in my life. Please tell me someone clipped it. Oh my gosh. That was amazing at how bad that was. Excuse me. Sorry. I can't talk now. Um, huh? I gotta hurry to get a new spot. The tide's changing, you know. Gosh, that freaking voice. Oh my gosh, that was out of control. Got a minute? What the? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? How the hell would I know? Alright, I know that homeless dude likes to sneak. Wait, what? Hello? There he is. Stay out of here, old man. I'm gonna run you over. Help somebody. Cut it out. Who the hell are you? Quit terrorizing him. Look at him. Talks like a goody goody little shit. Alright <laughs> then, we'll just play you. What? How about you race us? Motorcycle? A chicken race. You do know what that is, right? Okay, I'll play your little game. But if I win, you leave him alone. What the Give you the signal? Frick! Start when this can hits the ground. What the frick? Here, we go. Here a real can shop for various items. I don't think you're correct on there, game. Oh, it's a QT. Okay. Take that. Uh, oh, <laughs> Give up yet? Hey, you. <laughs> you jerk. I like how they just give him one of their bikes. I won. Yikes. Don't either of you two ever touch him again, got it? Bastard! We'll let you go this time! <laughs> Why would they just give him his bike? He could have just drove it off the freaking pier. Just to get at them, like... That, that situation didn't make much sense. Alright, well I'm helping the homeless dude out, so he's gonna help me out now. I just gotta find him now. Ew, I spit on my screen. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> I haven't been watching that Pokemon marathon, no. I'd only watch like the first like 100 episodes or so because that's when I used to watch it. Anything after that's like beyond what I used to watch. Alright, I think he like hides out in this warehouse or something. It's closed. Or is it this one? Guess they're not open. to watch that frick oh my gosh I can't believe how old that anime is used to watch that every day before school and then in the summertime 
My brother used to specifically get up early in the summer. You have an alarm set. It's locked. To watch Pokemon. Good lord, I can't believe it was that long ago. That is an old anime. That's like 15 half years ago, man. Or more. Holy crap. Holy crap, Jinjo. How am I this old? Where did the time go? Where did my life go? I never had one. Got a minute? What the hell you want? Him again. Do you know anything about the mad angels? I said no! <laughs> Can I go home now, game? Will you let me go home? talons why why use them no I just missed the boss freaking lordy lordy yeah Actually got a autograph from the original voice actress for Ash. Actually, a friend got it for me. I was at the convention. I met her. What happened was my friend showed up with it, and it's like she signed it. Said something like she even he even had her say "kill flicks" on it. So it was like I don't remember what the message is. I have it somewhere in my boxes. It's like. Catch them all, kill clicks by Veronica Taylor. And so I went up to her and I thanked her for it. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're Ash Ketchum! Ah! It was like when the con was closing, so no one was even around, so I was able to just hang out and talk to her. Santa, it's past your bedtime. It looks like I can practice here. No, I, I want to learn the move from the old man. Why won't he freaking teach me? Why are you jumping on the mic, Jinjo? Why? You've never done this. Why are you doing that tonight? Do not jump on the mic. Man, you get around, Tom. You sure get around. He's either at the pier or here. No matter what. He's, he's like both of them. Don't jump on There's the only. mic. Yo, have you started your job yet? Yeah. Suppose that means we won't get to see each other much. Oh, yeah. But why all of a sudden? Well, it's for a good reason. Is it? Don't worry, I'll call you every day. I'll visit no, you every day. I'm still on shift, so see ya. Um, I gotta go. I'll see you every day still, Nozomi. Don't you worry, your pretty 
little hit. I freaking love these games, you know? Gosh dang it, I love these games. I'm glad they got reviewed well, too, on Metacritic. I thought people would hate this, these games in this, in this current day. But, uh, people appreciate it still. Unless you're Jim Sterling. Freaking just destroyed it. Yusan, you're home. Oh, hi, Inesan. I was worried because it was getting late. Uh -oh. Don't worry. I'll always be home by 11 o'clock. I do not wish to nag you, but... Yes, I understand. No, you don't, you little sh... Why do you feed the cat? Oh, whatever. Feed the cat tomorrow. Jinjo, stop. Please stop now. Morning. My new job starts today. I don't even get to leave the freaking house, it immediately starts me here, huh? <laughs> Good morning, everyone! Morning. morning! Time for a daily warm up race. You all do your best now. Yeah! yeah. Like always. Three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? And don't go wrecking the forklifts or the formula have your ass. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> On your yeah! Marks. Yeah! Oh, time to go. Yeah! Ready! If you get go. first place, you get a little uh, uh, forklift replica. And on the Kickstarter, I think I paid the tier where you get a forklift figurine. So I'm going to get an actual physical forklift figurine. No! Oh my gosh! I remember I got so good at this because you do you literally do this race every morning before work. I'd like win first. I got to the point where I just win first place every morning. All these controls though, man. You got like start turning in advance because they're very delayed all right we got this we got this we can do this we can get first place How am I gonna get around this dude in this narrow frickin'? <sighs> I 
One more lap. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get first. I really can't handle these freaking this part up here. It's just like too and it's too crazy, man. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Frick! I gotta get that down if I'm gonna want to get first place. I will have that forklift mini figurine. I will have that. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. oh, juke him here. Oh, got second place. Finish. Oh man, so close, you almost had it. Here's your prize. <laughs> I get a prize for second. Thanks. Oh, I got it! I still got it! Yeah! It's time for work. Let's get cracking. From today, welcome. I'll do my best. Time to get to work. Move these crates with the forklift. Where do I take them? Warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. The quota is written on the map. Read it carefully. If you exceed quota, you'll get a raise. Great. Just be sure you don't break anything. All right, I gotta do ten crates. Okay. Warehouse eighteen. How do I look at the map? Oh lord, where is it, you guys? Oh, I don't know where the frick I'm going. Where's Warehouse 18? No, oh, move, you idiot! I think I'm supposed to turn here. Alright, I gotta do ten, at least ten crates. I gotta meet quota. Oh, that was a really bad placement. Gosh dang it. It'd be funny if you, like, take people out. Oh, a cat, really? Let's do a better job at this one. A little bit better. Yeah, that map's all janky. <laughs> Deja vu! I think you can damage the, the, the forklift or do any damage at all. Jinjo, get off the mic! Ooh! Why are you doing that? And now you're eating? And now you're eating on me? Really? Pissing me. Pissing bird. Pissing me. Pissing.
one, two, three, four, five. That's only five. Gotta do five more to meet quota. Jinjo! Why are you so antsy? Why are you so antsy? Frickin' drive into the river, river, ocean, on accident. Try two at a time. You can't... Okay, I'll show you. You can't do two at a time. You simply can't. Watch it let me know. <laughs> I'll... I can only transport one crate at a time. I've played this game before... Jinjo? Jinj? Jinjo Jinj? Jinj, get off the mic! Oh my gosh! Why? Why are you starting? You just today, just today, she's starting to get on the mic. Like the not my not like the mic itself, but like the the the. the the, the the arm the mic arm all right that's nine right we got this we're meeting quota we're meeting quota. Ah! I actually made a reaction to that. I hope that didn't actually damage the thing or something. Jinjo! Chill! Your bird! Up! Chill your little bird. And your big bird. <laughs> what? I think I, at noon is when we stop, right? So that was 10. So I at least did quota. Lunchtime, eh? Oh, it's only lunchtime. When do we get off work? Three, maybe? Oh no, Mark! Mark! Hey, my lunch! You ratted us out, didn't you? Are you one of Chin's men? I don't know any Chin. Oh, oh, really? I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, quit lying! Yeah, cut it out. What? Who's this twin? We're gonna teach you a lesson. Who's this twin?
Oh my gosh, defend, please! Oh, remember this. Oh, remember this. Thank you, Dio. Dio? Who were they? They were the mad angels. Why are the mad angels picking on you? They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen. But I don't know him. Master Chin and the Mad Angels. <laughs> All right, chat. I'm going to end her tonight. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm sorry, but I really don't think I'm going to stream this game anymore. I just get the base, you j this, you guys, just the base viewers, you know, you're, you're the solid 25 viewers of you guys. Instead of the, like, the, I don't know, the 35 to 40 regular views. That's not that many more views, honestly. <laughs> but when you're, but it may, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'd love to stream that whole game. I'd love to. I would love to. I don't know. I'll think about it, man. I'll think about it. But. Yeah. Thanks for watching tonight, though. Appreciate you for tuning in. And thank you for the support from Doom Jumper. 500 bits. Toxic Graveyard. 100 bits. Cake Living Dude. 40 bits. <coughs> and we got a brand new sub from Deathmonger. He's in his Twitch Prime. Camping Car also donated $6.66. Hey, you know what? We also got a donation from Brandon HC. Yeah. Donation? No. Oh, sub. Prime sub. Brandon HC. Did not notify for some weird reason, but I did do that, so. Alright, guys. So well, let's let's do a two let's do a Tuesday sh afternoon stream. So tune in tomorrow at the usual time in the afternoon and we'll figure something out to play. Hope to see you then. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys! You guys right now, you base 25 viewers, I love you guys. You guys watch me play whatever it is that I want to play, and I love that. I love that. Thank you. I hope to see you tomorrow when we'll play whatever afternoon and evening streams. So, see you tomorrow. Good night. And... Ouch, Jinjo. Ouch, Jinjo. Ouch, Jinjo. Ouch! Stop!